In today's video, we'll be exploring Meet Journey. We'll focus on how to create a Meet Journey account and start generating some images. If you're new to Meet Journey, it's simply an AI tool that uses text to generate images. Meet Journey normally runs on Discord, where you're able to interact with the Meet Journey bot to create the images. If you have a Discord account, you just have to log in. If you don't have one, you just have to register. It's very simple. To get yourself started, simply head over to meetjourney.com. At the bottom section of the page, click on join the beta this will bring you to a page where you need to register for a discord account choose a username agree to the terms and condition click on continue and follow the instructions after confirming that you're human you'll be prompted to add your date of birth you'll add your email address and a password for your account and all you have to do from here is just verify your email at this point discord might lead you to download the app but this is not necessary you can simply use this on your browser now now all you need to do is head over to one of the newbie rooms where you'll be able to start generating some images. To start generating images, all you have to do is click slash imagine and add your prompt. So you could be slash imagine a beautiful lady with curly hair sitting on a bench and I've encountered a problem. Great. Due to extreme demand, we cannot provide a free account right now. Please subscribe or try again tomorrow. I'm guessing too many people are using Mid Journey and Mid Journey has got restrictions for this, but that's fine. So I'll head over to my own account where I can continue showing you how to use Mid Journey. For you to start creating images, you need to join one of these newbie rooms. So for this, we're going to join newbie 63. So one thing you have to bear in mind, when you go into one of these newbies, you're not the only person that's creating images. One thing that normally happens is that you create an image and then your image might disappear. But if this happens, I'll show you how to find your image easily. We'll do the same prompt again. We'll do slash imagine a beautiful a beautiful lady with curly hair dress black shoes anyway, let's see what we get from there so now me journey is processing the image for us our image is ready as you can see just like the prompt stated we wanted a beautiful lady in a dress and black shoes and that's exactly what we've just got this particular set was created on me journey version 5 but i'm just gonna change it over and this set was created on me journey version 4 it's the same prompt but it's created on version 4 so you can tell the difference between the two now you have the images and because you're using a public server you can't find the images all you have to do is come up here where it says inbox here click on it and then click on mentions and all the images that you've created you'll find them here as you can see the upscales that i previously done all the images are here so let's say you wanted to go onto this image all you have to do is click on this little thing here that says jump click on it as you can see the image is here now and you can do anything you want to do to the image if you want to upscale the images or just focus on one image this is where you'd press either u1 meaning upscale one or upscale two depending on which image you choose or if you want a variation of a particular image all you have to do is choose the image and either go v1 v2 variation one variation two and so forth so that's that so now you know how to find your images if you've lost them in between all of this so now that you found your image you might need to find the seed number to find the seed number you just have to come here there's three dots here click on them and then you should see an envelope here if you don't see an envelope here just search and then you'll see an envelope but anyway click on the envelope and what will happen mid journey will send a message and you can click here mid journey bot and as you can see i have the seed number here and if i need it i can use it all right so i'll go back to the newbie server if you're wondering why the seed number is important me journey creates images randomly so it will pick a random seed value for each image which then determines the noise pattern of the image basically meaning how the image is gonna look so by you using the seed number it will give you images that are more consistent but still look a bit different and if you want to change the aspect ratio you can also do that all you have to do to the prompt is add dash dash ar 16 by 9 or dash dash AR one by one, so it will just depend what you want. Me Journey recently released version five of Me Journey, which is only available on a paid plan, and the free plan only allows you to create 25 images. 
and for the paid plan you get a bit more so it's a bit more advanced and other things that you need to know so if this is something you're going to be doing keep watching the video and i'll show you some more stuff for me journey pricing basic price starts at ten dollars a month that gives you 200 images or thirty dollars a month that gives you unlimited images or there's also a plan for sixty dollars a month to get to the me journey website where you'll find the community feed go to www.mejourney.com click on sign in agree to authorize discord and then you'll have access to the community feed and you'll also find the images that you've been creating there to see what the rest of the community is creating click on explore and here you'll see the community feed and you might see images that you like and some that you don't like if you see an image that you like and you'd like to copy um all you have to do is touch one of these images with the cursor and then here you'll find three little buttons click on them go to copy and then here as you can see you can copy the full command or you can just copy the prompt or you can copy um, the job id you can save the image if you like and you'd like to use it and if you like this image and you like to put it on your favorites all you have to do is just click on that so that's that if you want to organize your images or work in a more private server you can do this by clicking on on this plus sign choose create my own server then click on me and my friends and add an icon if you want to but then you have to add the server name and click on create so now that you have your server you need to connect the me journey bot to the new server to do this click on me journey then me journey bot add to server select server and click continue authorize and now you can start creating images in your new space private server is ready we connected to the mid journey boat so it's time to start creating remember always start your prompts as slash imagine then you can put the prompt in so that could be a cartoon character of a beautiful lady and aspect ratio so dash dash a 1619 here we go so these are the images that were just generated from the prompt that we just put in and for this ones they're generated on mid journey version 4 so if we do the same prompt but this time we do it for me journey version 5 this is what we get as you can see it's not the best i actually i guess this is more cartoonish this some of it is a bit more cartoonish but this one is more realistic so i don't know which image i prefer but then i guess i prefer this one i like this one just in case you don't like the images that you've got and you want to generate some more images using the same prompt all you have to do is click on this button which is a real roll button and me journey will generate another image for you using the same prompt all right so this is the image that was generated on version 5 that was a real roll from this image and in a way i kind of like the images because they're giving you different angles of the same character which i don't know if this is happening just because of the aspect ratio i'm using but i like that that can be good at some point when they improve you could do different stuff with them maybe i don't know 3d something if they were better but still maybe showing different angles all right so next if you want to check the settings that you have all you have to do is slash settings enter so if you wanted to change which version of mid journey you're using this is where you change it so if you want to change it to one or if you want to change it to five this is where you would do it and then if you want to change the quality this is where you do it but mine i just leave it as base quality and then here if you want to change into the relax mode or you want to leave it the first mode this is where you do it if you want to leave the remix button on this is where you do it so a lot of settings are here most of them <laughs> all right so that's the settings and if you're wondering how many images you have left or how many images you've already generated so far all you have to do is come back down here again click on slash info and then press enter and all the details that you need will be displayed here so you have the lifetime usage relax usage you have your queue jobs you have all the details that you need here 
in regards to your renewal date and stuff like that all right so that's that i hope this video will help you get started with me journey and the first time you create an image on me journey it will feel like you have no idea what you're doing but give it a few days of creating some images and you'll see how much you've gonna improve so don't be scared to start it's new for everyone and it's learning something new I hope this video has been helpful to you. Thank you for watching. My name is Abigail and you're watching Simplifying AI.